Hi everybody, Electronics here, and today we're gonna be playing Gleaming at the Cursed Hollow. So let's take a look at our team compositions. It's gonna be Stitches, Hammer, Murky, Liming, and Kerrigan versus Golden, Leoric, Diablo, Abyssur, and Greymane. For some reason they have two tanks, we have Stitches, Murky. Uh, they have Hammers. Hammer, Stitches, and Murky combo is pretty strong because they can... They kind of synergize with each other. Uh, Stitches pulls somebody into Hammer's range, then Murky uses his Octograp. And Hammer just destroys somebody. Also, Kerrigan is a... Wait, this is our team. What the hell am I doing? This is our team, actually. So, yeah. Yeah. But the enemies have Greymane, so Greymane can actually assassinate somebody on our side if Gul'dan ever does enough damage uh, for them. And obviously, the um, Abyssal combo with Greymane is kind of devastating. Uh, kind of devastating. So it's the first talent I'm gonna be going for here. Uh, will probably be... Okay, we got Leoric though, that's good. Uh, the first talent is probably going to be the Astral Presence, uh, because this way we can just stall forever. Uh, I want to, I want to have uh, the... to be useful on the capture points, and with the Astral Presence we can stall, like, we can constantly keep ca casting our arcane orbs and magic missiles into the capture points. As long as they are up, like, uh, we'll never ru completely run out of mana, and that's exactly what I'm going for here. Oh, is this an- oh my god, good job, Kerrigan, really, really good job. Uh, can we get enough damage to go down? Probably not. Yeah, the slow from Slyoric was actually quite strong there, it really stopped us from doing much. Hmm, can we get a gank with Kerrigan? Kerrigan is actually a really good person to roam around at gank, but they have Abyssur, and Abyssur denies us a lot of ganking potential, a lot of... Abyssur is annoying, okay? Uh, it's like probably one of my most hated heroes to play against, uh, because he has such a great... Okay, let's just go back. It's so easy for him to deny any sort of roaming, any sort of uh, ganking, you just put nests everywhere and people are, instead of just roaming and ganking like your team, they are dying, like, they are slowly getting lower and lower and lower and if they, like, decide to commit to the gank and, like, do it anyway, they will probably die in the process, so that's, that's great. Uh, I will go for probably the most survivability focus build uh, with the uh, dominance. I maybe it's a good idea to go for the charged blast, but I don't think we will capitalize enough of it. I think that uh, Greyman will kill us before we can get like even enough damage from the charged blast, and Dominance will help us survive. Uh, like if we ever kill somebody on the enemy team, which we should be doing since we have Kerrigan, she can assassinate people really nicely. Uh, so we will be able to do a lot of a lot of cool stuff with it. Uh, I might have gone for Triumvirate, actually, because that way we can uh, stall uh, the point, the capture point, for a little bit, a little bit better uh, with uh, that particular uh, talent. Uh, but it's good enough, in my opinion. Can we can we do enough damage? Oh, Leoric died. That's good. We can do we can do our combo. Golden didn't expect that, huh? Did you? Uh, so yeah, Kerrigan with my team. They they did a good job. They did a good job. Killing, wow, the Greymane. Uh, that's... that wasn't the best choice you made, Kerrigan. Yep, that jump actually killed her there. No, get out of here. Whoa, 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 the Abyssal Nest. Okay, Greymane is super close. So if we can get some a hook or something. Uh, three, two, one, I can't stop that. We need to clear the nests. Okay, we are super low on health. I need I need to regenerate. Because anything can kill me at this point. I need to get my health back. So the general build I will be doing on the Liming this game is probably uh, the like it has a fancy name I, I believe it's like Telebomb or something uh, yeah I believe that's the case oh I'm so dead to Abyssur no I actually survived man 
Uh, so yeah, we'll be going with Calamity. Uh, can we, with the Dominance, if we can kill anything now. Oh my god, a kill, please. Okay, we need a kill. If we get a, can get a kill, uh, we'll get uh, we'll get enough health to fight. And until that happens, we are like, oh, is that a kill? Yes, yes, good. Wow, those nests almost killed me. I should use my blinks uh, to scout for the nests actually. Like that, we can we can kill. Oh my god, this is this is so scary. Yeah, also the, they have Abyssur, so he can just uh, soak forever. And we are just helping uh, the enemy team right now with, um, with the fact that we uh, prolong these fights for no reason. Uh, we should just give it up. Uh, if we can't win it run right away, we should just give it up uh, and get the XP. Uh, but Hammer is actually doing a decent job up bottom. Uh, well, doing something actually. She pushed, uh, she forced the enemy team to retreat. And, uh, oh, that would have been so great. Uh, man, that healing from the healing well and uh, the globes, they regen so much health. Oh, can we get some hook? Uh, hook, please hook him. Oh my god, seriously? Oh, that's annoying as hell. And then he retreat. Why did you? Why did Stitches retreat? He could have like attacked him because uh, the minions were in the range of the fort, so they wouldn't have slowed him any further. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that was kind of my bad because I jumped into the fort's range and it was able to focus me down. But I really thought that I would have enough damage to blow up uh, Diablo because he has no way of shielding magic. Like, uh, Stitches has Dampen Magic and all of that stuff. He actually didn't go for it for some reason. They have Gul'dan, yeah, our Stitches will die a lot this game. Uh, so I really thought that I would be able to just destroy Diablo there and uh, it just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. Um, I will go for Disintegrate. But Wave of Force, we, they, we don't have anything that we need uh, to be stopping. What is he doing? Like, that's exactly what I was talking about. He will be dying so fast. And with the Dampen Magic, he would maybe be able to block, uh, go for the Strode attempts and all of that stuff, but now he just, he is just dead. <laughs> like, constantly, and it's gonna be bad. Like, every time uh, Stitch just decides to actually fight something rather than, um, uh, rather than hook, uh, hook follow-ups, uh, Okay, I was able to survive through that somehow. Man, if we didn't kill Diablo there, I was so dead to the Abyssal clone because I made myself immobile with the Disintegrate. He was just able to just constantly claw me to death. And that, that's well, that wasn't fun! But Li Ming isn't... I don't no longer like consider her one of the best uh, mages. And the reason for that is because she is kind of useless. Uh, if if your team isn't already winning. Like, in order for uh, Li Ming to do her thing, uh, to be, like, to kill everybody on the enemy team, somebody has to die. And it's it's not something that you can guarantee, especially in quick matches, especially in solo queues. You can't guarantee that people will actually uh, follow up follow up on every engage and uh, you can't guarantee kills. And that uh, that's what kind of makes uh, Li Ming not as viable as she could be, in my opinion. So I will try to juke the Oryx there. I think I, I've done it successfully. Man, Stitch just almost killed me. That was fine. That was cool. Sure Stitches, just hook him into my range. Man, if I if I catch a nest here, I'm so dead. I will use my blink to blow up any nests that would have been there. Uh, we didn't kill them. Like uh, whoever was there contesting, they just died. That was bad. That was bad. Uh, I will probably go for illusionist. Uh, give ourselves uh, a little bit more range. 
uh, a little bit more sustainability. Uh, If he actually committed to that a little bit more, if he got himself slowed for like a second longer, I would have used my ultimate and killed him probably. But he he made a safe choice and decided not to do that. Uh, should I go for Cannoneer? Yeah, yeah I, I should I should go Illusionist. I should go Illusionist. Like with the extra range, we'll be able to better position ourselves, uh, get better engages. Get better everything. If uh, Murky grabs him here, we will be able to kill him. Why didn't he auto grab? We, we could have. Oh, he hit it off cooldown. Also, Diablo is probably not the best choice to auto grab. It's like because you will burn an ultimate, and uh, Diablo will probably resurrect anyway. So. Okay, okay, Carrigan. I'm on my way, Carrigan. Don't don't be afraid. Uh, you have the fall up. I'm a little bit out of mana, and that's not good. And also, Hammer died. How did she die? Did she really try to siege that versus Gul'dan and all of those guys? That's not the best choice. A kill. Man, Greymane, double Greymane is so scary. Well, that's the best I can do, honestly. Yeah, now we are cursed. Murky also should try to suicide himself more, like, into the point. Uh, because, like, we just need his constant harass and he decided to soak. I guess he gave up the tribute, which... Probably was a good good call on his part, uh, since uh, they grabbed it anyway. Uh, but uh, it still would have been nice uh, to, help his, to have his support a little bit more in the contest. While contesting, you know? Okay, we will get a diamond skin, because we need it. We really need some shielding this game. With the double gray main, we need as much health as possible. Uh, even that move that I just made... Uh, what? Uh, with me tri killing like Greymane and leaving myself exposed to the Greymane clone and uh, some of the enemy team members, I don't remember who was there. It was very risky without diamond skin because they could have killed me. So can we can we get something? Is it the enemy Golden? That's actually the enemy Golden. But we did clean up the whole enemy team. We need to kill the clone because this clone will do more damage than actual Greymane does. Uh, the only like the only downside of the clone uh, of Greymane, Abyssal's clones, is the fact that he doesn't have an ult. But he does more damage. He's faster. He's stronger. Like it's just so good. And yeah, that's literally the only downside. That's a bad idea, Stitches. Uh, because we have Leoric scouting, so they would definitely know that we are doing it, and they have the like engage potential uh, to completely disrupt it, and we don't have the sustained damage aside from Hammer, uh, who is doing the siege camp. Uh, we don't have any of the damage to kill the boss. Now that we have Carrigan, like what will happen now is that we will trade bosses most likely. It is most likely what will happen. We will just trade bosses. I, I will try to juke the enemy team into thinking that I was retreating rather than going for the boss. But it was such a blatant juke that uh, they might actually uh, go ahead and uh, stop us here. We need some scouting uh, from somebody. Uh, it would really help if we can, could have gotten some scouting before they engage like this. And yeah, this is just... This is just, this is, this was bad. This was bad from the start. Yeah, I, I just didn't have enough momentum there. Uh, with the gray main, gray main just does so much damage. Uh, if Hammer actually was there present, like herself, rather than uh, just using her BFG, she's so dead. Yeah, if she was there herself uh, with the auto attack help, 
I would have been able to like kill Gul'dan and uh, Greymane there, but it just wasn't enough. Uh, one more slime, there we go, good job Murky. But we will lose the keep, we'll probably lose the keep, we don't have anybody to do damage here. Hammer is dead, Hammer tried to chase them rather than retreating and dealing with the boss, which was a huge mistake uh, on her part. And it just wasn't great for us. Even our diamond skin, even our dominance in diamond skin wasn't able to save us from dying to two like assassins, like dealing huge da huge bursts of damage to us. It being like Greymane and uh, Gul'dan. If we had actually wave of force there, now that I think about it, maybe wave of force was actually a better idea, uh, because that would have helped us. We would have secured that uh, point completely, uh, because wave of force would have been. Uh, an instant skill that we could have just spammed out with our, all of our other skills. Uh, whereas uh, disintegrate is something that you need to constantly cast, and we were so vulnerable. We are so vulnerable while doing that that it's it kind of worked against us. But we need we kind of, well we don't need to stop them from grabbing the boss. It would definitely help. But uh, okay, so stitch is committed. Leoric was just waiting for it. Uh, yeah, I will use Temporal Flux uh, to slow them down for stitches, but he... I don't know what he did there, but uh, it just wasn't great. So I will try to slow down Diablo for some more hits from Hammer. Man, this is bad. We, we have no... Oh, the fact that Stitches just went in and died, that was so, so awful, so awful. I have no idea how to win this, and that's what I was talking about in the beginning. Like, that Li Ming isn't really the best mage right now, and that's why, like, if you aren't killing the enemy team, and if your team is just, like, there is no way for you to carry the game. You are there if the, like... If you have a good team, I mean, it's kind of awesome. Like, you get the resets, you get all of the positioning advantages, all of the pushing, all of that stuff. But if you are just... Like, if you are just up there with the random team, uh, you you probably will like, just die. There we go, I saved Murky, we killed Leoric, all of the good stuff. Uh, they will get the boss without even a doubt. They actually didn't go for what? They didn't go for the boss. Um, Abyssor is... No, that's a nest. Damn it. And that, that actually bought the enemies enough time uh, to potentially kill me here. Uh, does he have... Oh, the corruption. I barely dodged it. No, I didn't dodge it at all. I'm I'm still dying. I'm still dying. Oh my god, this is, this is, this is so bad. I've died two times in this game. <laughs> Kerrigan died ten times? What? That's amazing, but we do our damage, we do our job, but we can't really carry the game, you know? That's why Li Ming falls short, and that's why I tend not to play her as much now. Especially in the Hero League, it, it's almost like, it almost feels better to play, play somebody like Jaina, because Jaina doesn't need, like, she kind of needs her team to be effective, but she doesn't need her team this much to be effective. And it's... I don't know, Li Ming actually, yeah, Li Ming is really good at securing the game, like, if you're already winning, then it's like the best game for Li Ming, because you just keep getting the resets, keep getting the cooldowns, and you are just dominating the enemy team, because they are distracted, dealing with your tanks, dealing with uh, people who, like, are useful on the team, uh, but if you don't have that available to you, that was a good job uh, by Gul'dan, baiting uh, Karagun and just recalling uh, immediately. Uh, can we get, uh... Octograph. Why didn't why didn't uh, why didn't Murky Octograph there? It could have been so much good, so much bad. Like that was so weird. Okay, we got the cleanup. We got the cleanup, but we we'll, we are cursed and we need to deal with top right now as soon as possible. We need to deal with it because that will do a, a ton of damage to our keep. Oh man, this is this is really bad. This is really bad. Also, Abyssal clones pushing things. Yeah, we lost the keep. I can't like it's. There was nothing I could have done there. 
uh, to prevent this from happening. Uh, so there is Abyssur's nest. Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh my god, this is really annoying. We are just dying. A uh, Murky's egg. There we go. Man, they they've dealt a lot of damage to our structures. This is this is really hard to pull off because we are so behind, and we have a team that needs to be ahead. We have Carrigan, we have Hammer. We needed to secure this keeps in uh, this uh, this game, this uh, map, like this XP advantage. We needed everything. We like we had a decent like early game, so we needed to, to capitalize on it, and we weren't able to do so. Instead, we were just like dying and feeding, and it's it's it wasn't great. It wasn't helpful to the outcome. And uh, hammer is going to die, maybe. So I will use my blink to kill any of the potential abyssal nests. And uh, why won't the shrine? I think that they are doing their boss. I think that's exactly what they are doing, and there is nothing we can do to stop them. Well, at least nothing I can do to stop them. But if we kind of commit to it and like go for it because we it's better for us uh, to engage oh my god that was wow he actually killed him wow that's huge that's actually huge because now we need to stop their boss or, or not or not team okay we should have just committed to their boss killed all of them there maybe it wasn't enough time okay now that i think about it it wasn't enough time but it was like if if we could have uh, secured their boss instead of ours, we should have done that, but... And we didn't actually know how much time they have to kill it, so it was like... Yes or no, and we, we need to start working on this boss. We, we should have already gotten it to like 70% of its health, because now it will just have a full push towards the keep, and there is not much we can do about it, sadly. Why do we want to put what? No, no. Mm. Okay, okay. Stitches, just be quiet, please. I, I don't know what Stitches is talking about. I was a little bit confused there, a little bit caught off guard. But uh, let's, let's do the damage, let's do the damage. Can we secure it? Can we save it? Uh, yes, we actually saved it, and this is huge. Uh, now let's find Abyssur's Nest. There we go. Uh, let's clean this wave okay the fact that we didn't lose uh, the bottom keep is huge for us because now they actually need to put some effort into destroying it and getting the catapults so we will have the top catapults pushing though and that's kind of bad because they will start killing the core they don't care like the, the catapults after the patch are probably like the the biggest change blizzard ever did to this game uh, because they changed so much about uh, how the game works and everything. Okay, we cleaned it up. We cleaned it up, but we... Okay, Murky is there. Murky, 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 deal with that. Murky, 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 deal with that, please. Okay. Man, this is scary. This is scary. If I die here doing some stupid stuff, uh, we are just screwed. So I would just go back and get some mana. Man, this game is interesting though. It's been a very long time and I saw that we would have lost a long time ago considering how we started it, considering how it was playing out so far. But uh, Hammer is doing some job on the enemy keep keeps with her BFG. Uh, and that's good for us. Like, if we can get these keeps down... Uh, the fact that this game lasted so long, it was such a good choice on Hammer's part going for the Orbital BFG. Because she got a ton of value from it. Uh, in shorter games, you tend not... Uh, they tend not doing really m a lot. And this is huge for us. We shouldn't have used uh, the Octograbs there. But it was still kind of big, because now they are dead for like 40 seconds, because he's Leora, he can regen himself. And it, it's it's not great that we used our um, uh, Octograph for that. I, I'd rather use it on uh, Greymane, you know? Somebody who is actually super mobile, super hard to kill, and has a lot of uh, potential to kill us. Uh, but Leoric is fine, we have the pushing advantage now. Uh, if we can get some... 
like right now Octograb would have killed them. But can Kerrigan actually secure this? Oh my god, this is it. We should just end. Oh my god, are we actually winning this game? Wow, that uh, domino effect that we, we actually see, and that, that's what I was talking about like a moment ago. If I died as we mean like that, the way that Leoric and Diablo died, it would have left ourselves prone to this. But because it was them who made this mistake, wow! Oh my god, we actually didn't deserve this win, but man, it feels great for the, like to, for this comeback to happen. Wow, so if you guys if you guys enjoyed the video consider subscribing and as always thank you so much for watching and see you next time